Welcome to AWS On Air. We are live from reInvent. What an exciting time to be here. And this is a customer and partner spotlight session. Joining us are our partners NVIDIA and some of our mutual customers. I am Shruti Koparkar. I am the product marketing lead for EC2 Accelerated Computing and I am your host for this session. And um, I'm going to let my friends introduce themselves. My name is Joel Caruso. I'm with NVIDIA. I am a strategic account manager for startups that are a part of our inception organization. And it, it's my great pleasure to be a part of this working relationship with both Amir and Sean. I'd love for you to introduce yourselves, actually, to talk more about uh, where your organization and also how the inception program has benefited you. So looking forward to very much learning more. Hi, I'm Sean Charito. I'm head of sales here uh, with Union. We're an NVIDIA partner, we're an AWS customer, and an AWS partner. So I'm very excited to be joining this panel today, be able to talk about what we're doing and, and how we can help our customers together. Awesome. Welcome. Yeah, Thank my you. name is Amir Hagegatz. I'm a co-founder and CTO of Base10. We're a four-year-old machine learning infrastructure company uh, for model inference. And of course, big customers of uh, both AWS and NVIDIA, uh, and uh, great partners to both. Awesome. You know, we've had such exciting announcements yesterday with NVIDIA. We have deepened our partnership. We are GH200 coming next year. We have DJX Cloud. Uh, what an exciting time. So, you know, Sean, I know that your um, uh, company is helping, helping developers build models. And you're using DJX Cloud for some of the training. Tell us about what Union.ai is doing in that space and you know, how are you making it easy and seamless? Yeah, um, well if you think about generative AI, anything from a deep learning and machine learning, there's a lot of iterative processing and rapid prototyping that has to go on for model development and productionization of that. Uh, so with Union, what our ambitious goal was all about is how can we simplify that process for data engineers, data scientists, and machine learning engineers to work together without uh, having to deal with all the complexities because they're using different tooling, different frameworks, and those things require different infrastructure, different compute resources to handle things, different GPUs, different drivers and networking when it comes to clusters of GPUs. So Union is delivering a platform that abstracts away all that complexity that really allows these developers a seamless experience to, to build, train, and deploy their models. Awesome. And make it all automated, too. Yes. I mean, just make that process flow from the to point of, hey, we have this idea, we need to actually work and engineer these components together that are normally not seamless. That's what I love about what Union is doing and how you're even helping NVIDIA, which is loving the integration relationship. Yeah. But bringing that component of, hey, you need to get to that compute, train, create a large language model, where do you go next? After you've trained that large model, where should you go and have that checkpoint? Is there a handoff? Is there some kind of engagement model where it should go somewhere else and yeah. or actually run inference? Yeah, at that point, you need to, to run the inference. You need to establish an endpoint to truly deploy to production that model. And, and that's where a partnership through NVIDIA with Base10 comes into play. Great segue. I'm glad I'm here for that part. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, and this ties into to what we do. Um, like I said, we focus on, on inference, uh, and we are actually agnostic of everything that Sean just said. Uh, our customers do it all sorts of different ways. Uh, I'm going to definitely uh, recommend your product to them. When they ask me questions, um, we don't deal with that. Where we come into play is when a model is already trained, whether that is an open source model, or our customers have fine-tuned their own models, or in some cases, they are training uh, their own foundation models and uh, they bring it onto Base 10 for inference. Uh, easy way to package it up uh, and get it ready for uh, auto scalability, uh, get it ready for a lot of cost efficiency uh, around running these models um, uh, efficiently, um, and ultimately doing all of that without having to hire ML ops and infrastructure and DevOps people, without having to uh, do a bunch of Kubernetes and Docker and 
right. uh, security groups and all that. So does your platform also help optimize models for inference? Because oftentimes when, when they're trained, uh, you know, they, they have slightly different considerations there. Accuracy is far more important. You go to inference, suddenly latency and, you know, performance becomes really critical. Totally. How is, um, how is based on helping that? Yeah, we try to not touch the weights of the model. Uh, so uh, the, the behavior should be whatever the user expected of it. Uh, we do help them with, with techniques like uh, uh, quantization, uh, but where our uh, optimizations come in are generally one layer above the model. Uh, so when you're thinking about like uh, the different attention uh, mechanisms, you're talking about different uh, batching mechanisms with dynamic batching, with um, uh, continuous, continuous batching. Continuous batching. Um, uh, th those are the, that's the layer that we work in. And we actually like partner with NVIDIA on, on that part too. Um, we had early access to TRTLM, for example, thanks to the uh, Inception program. Uh, and uh, that has actually made a lot of these techniques a lot more accessible. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, honestly, has brought in users, customers, use cases that uh, were not really possible before due to cost uh, and, and due to you know high latency or like lack of throughput. And they, it, they, those things are now possible, and we're seeing and, people do them. And additionally to that is like I love that you've been able to communicate to us what's important to you, so like continuous batching yeah. or longer sequence links, or these features that are really crucial to each and individual model. Like if you need a Mistral 7B model, you may need sliding window attention. That's a feature that's very congruent with that type of model. And you being able to tell us that is immensely important. And having this direct relationship through the inception program to have that feedback loop so we can move fast. Because that's the same thing that's happening right now in this market is everybody wants to move as quickly as possible as this new model may drop and another one may come out next week and that one may have new features. And yeah. you're that first line of defense to tell us what we need to be doing better and ultimately to run your infrastructure that much smoother with our tool chains in AWS. So it's that end-to-end -end ecosystem where we can all be playing yeah. together and having a feedback loop is absolutely mission critical. No, for sure. Like what, one of our most uh, popular and informative shared Slack channels is uh, with, the, with the NVIDIA folks uh, and then uh, with the, uh, I'm, I'm on constant text message with our AWS partners as well. Uh, you know, when you know new new GPUs come out, or um, you know, like we need features from EKS. Uh, uh, so, like honestly, like it's a good place to sit in between both of you. <laughs> like, uh, you couldn't have done it without. Sandwiched. Yeah, yeah, it's a good sandwich. Just working. <laughs> that's that's great. You know, one one other thing I was gonna say is that I just love this three-way collaboration between the customers and AWS and Nvidia, and what happens when you give this kind of feedback is everybody benefits. Because right. NVIDIA incorporates those into their libraries, we incorporate those into our offerings, and now the entire startup ecosystem, but also you know beyond, individual developers, everyone benefits, and that's just so, so amazing. Uh, and that has actually has what has accelerated the pace of innovation so much in this field. It's like everyone's standing on each other's shoulders in, in many ways. Um, For sure. So, Oh, multiple of you talked about Inception. And Joel, I had a question for you. Um, you know, you are very closely associated with a lot of startups uh, within Inception. Tell us a little bit more about the program, uh, what it can do for startups, and how it's helping them uh, bring products to market. Yeah, for sure. I mean, the Inception program is a free resource. It's a program that's designed for software companies that want to get access to support, resources, co-marketing, even just direct interaction between NVIDIA and AWS. Like having base 10 at our booth here at 372 happened through this relationship between A, they decided to take advantage of the program, sign up and get access to an inception partner manager as well as an account manager from NVIDIA to coalesce and to find like what's important to you. How do you want to go to market? How do you want to build out your offerings? We want to hear from software companies about what's most important to you, where you're at in your journey too. Like maybe you need access to Venture Capital Alliance funding uh, dollars, right? We have a Venture Capital Alliance benefit tab where you could upload your pitch book, get introduced into a newsletter, and they'll reach out to you and discuss what your product offering is and see if we, they can fund your initiatives to get started. Additionally, we have an AWS credits program for 100K. You can leverage that to get started in AWS. But you know, long term, what I really want to also learn about from your perspectives is what would make the Inception program even more impactful? Where do you want to see it go? Do you want uh, other kind of capacity or capability for like closer bi-directional conversations between 
our Inception startup program and AWS's startup program, is there anything that comes to mind that you want to take advantage of that would make this go even faster, even better? Yeah, I definitely would think that um, having more collaboration between the AWS startup programs and the Inception program with a company like ours would, would provide benefits, not just to us, but when you think about, as you mentioned, Shruti, us working together, it's great for the ecosystem, but more importantly, it's great for the end customer themselves. Mm. So they're the ones that give us the feedback that go to you. It's not ideas that we came up with ourselves. <laughs> it's what the customer wants to be able to do with a platform like ours. When they want to innovate faster, when they want to do more things with us that requires integration and leveraging new technologies or services that AWS has out there. So I think tighter collaboration on that just provides a better experience for the end customer themselves where they don't have to think about where do I need to go? I know I have it all right there because these really smart people are working together to solve my business requirements in a good way. Right, we, we definitely will need to find more ways to collaborate. The two programs definitely are you know, uh, working closely together, yeah. but this is really good feedback for how we can uh, you know, bring it in even uh, closer. Definitely, and, and that's the thing, is like we do have these working relationships, it's all organic today, and the thing is, is that in the generative AI market, everything is net new, we're all learning together. So anybody that has a, an idea, a feedback, a way we can improve our engagement model, we're open to those uh, ideas. We want to improve, and we're just getting started. And that's the part that's so much fun. And um, I think the other piece to that is, I was just talking with folks uh, at our booth, it's like, hey, how do we do this again next year? And it's just like having that conversation already, the energy is there, the excitement, and just so many people here are all trying to figure out ways to move fast. And I think that's what's so synergistic about both of your companies is, how do you get started? How do you engineer? How do you move then to uh, taking those models and then serving them in the market? All within AWS and the ecosystem and NVIDIA and AWS are making it happen. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Ami, do you have anything to add to you know how you've used Inception, how, how it's helped you uh, yeah. in your journey? Yeah, so uh, the examples that, that I said that are really important, so I want to say them again. So getting early access uh, to uh, NVIDIA software, uh, you know, things like you know, newer version of Trident, um, TRTLLM most, most recently uh, is, is immense for us so that when it gets announced uh, we do co-marketing together and, and that, that's important to us. But also we're one of the first places that has actually you know, run TRTLLM in production and, and seen the, the impacts of it and really pushed the boundaries of it. Um, and, and that's important for us from a, from a uh, go-to-market uh, perspective. So that early access is, is super critical. Um, and another Thing that I said was like having that shared Slack channel. Like there are technical folks on there that are answering esoteric questions uh, about TRTLM, which is so nice of them. Uh, and uh, the thing, one thing that, uh, two other things that I would say is, yeah, um, I mean, uh, like I said, that the booth here has been immense for us. Um, I didn't know what we were missing by by not being here. Uh, so we appreciate like um, having the booth here from the uh, Nvidia folks in, in the pavilion. And we'll be back. We'll be back next year. Uh, so oh, we'll uh, you know, be happy to have you. Uh, you know, the reinvent is one of those things that like you know you don't really know uh, fully fully grasp it until until you're here. Uh, so you know, thanks to the Inception program, like we were able to to get the booth. Um, and there's uh, other co-marketing. Cool uh, that we're going to do uh, in the future. Uh, I, I want to uh, bring it back to what you said about like bringing these two startup programs together. I see this with our customers. A lot of our customers are you know pre-seed, seed, you know uh, kind of kinds of companies, and uh, they're, they're kind of lost. They're like, oh, what do I do? Do I need to sign up here? Do I need to sign up there? Like, you know, how many different programs do I need to sign up? Can I use these credits over here? Can I use these credits over there? Yeah. And so like, yeah talk more, like bring bring these things together in a cohesive way. We uh, will, yeah, we will. It, it will be immense. Yeah, yeah. Well, really good feedback. And I think the other point to it is, is like in the co-marketing piece, like we do a lot of developer blog posts, right? But we have that opportunity for us to work together to do even video demonstrations, to visualize it and showcase it, make it meaningful. Um, I look forward to those opportunities myself too, just so that way we can uh, create customer stories. Like what's going to make your product visible, easy to use, and adoptable. I want to have those conversations with you guys too. It's like other future statements of opportunities we can work on together. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you all for being here. Thank you for your partnership. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your reInvent. And for everyone out there, hope you enjoy the rest of reInvent as well. Thank you.